Hundreds of employees at Wolf Speed are being laid off. The semiconductor manufacturer announced it is cutting its workforce by 10%. This comes after the company already laid off 10% of employees in the last three months. WR's Carly Haynes is live at its Durham headquarters. And Carly, we also know the company earnings fell this quarter. It did, and that's playing into this. Uh, between the facilities, both in Durham and in New York, the company has around 5,000 employees, according to its annual report. But the news today is a sign of a foggy future and a dip in demand. Uncertainty for hundreds of Wolf Speed employees. The Durham based chipmaker announced it's laying off 10% of its workforce. A workforce already down another 10% from people leaving the company. It took economist Mike Walden by surprise. There's been a lot of uh, twists and turns in the um, tech industry that's related to, in particular, EVs and electric vehicles. Wolfspeed told us this mainly impacts North Carolina. It didn't say exactly where or which divisions. Walden says others outside of Wolfspeed would be impacted too. It's always not just the individual losing their job, it's, the, it's what that individual means to the local economy that's taken away and that means the local economy is less robust. In August, the chip maker announced it's closing a Durham production facility, looking to cut costs as it transitions to higher powered chips. It'll offer severance and help employees find new opportunities. Meanwhile, Wolf Speed still plans to go full steam ahead on its Chatham County plant, expected to bring in 1,800 jobs. And just last month, Wolf Speed received $750 million in grant money from the Federal Chips Act. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live in Durham.